merger of banks um, actually is reversing the policy of the banking from mass banking to class banking. The very purpose of nationalization as uh, envisaged in the Banking Acquisition Act 1970 is that common man should have access to the banking. See, when um, agriculture uh, was uh, contributing to the extent, some extent of 44% to the then GDP, only 2% of the loan was given to the agriculture sector by the then private banks. So, agriculture was neglected, industry was neglected, export was neglected, and uh, job creation was neglected. So, these were the main four objectives with which the banks were nationalized in order to promote agriculture, industry, export and uh, job opportunities. But now, the policy is totally reversed after 1991. And this merger of banks is a step towards privatization and towards class banking, which is reversing the policy that was uh, done in 1969 and subsequently 1980. 1969, 14 major private banks were nationalized and 1980, 6 private banks were nationalized. And now, what is happening is, immediately after merger of uh, 5 uh, state sector banks and Bharat Mahila Bank with State Bank of India, they have increased the minimum balance from 0 to 5000 in metropolitan and 3000 in semi-urban and uh, 1000 rupees in rural. 5000 rupees is not a small amount for an ordinary person. It is 5 months widow pension, it is 5 months disabled pension, it is 5 months old age pension. People have to forego their living for 5 months, then only they can keep 5000 rupees. If otherwise, they will be fined 100 rupees. So, thereby in 2017-18 alone, uh, State Bank of India fined ordinary people to the extent of 1782 crores. The same State Bank of India has written off 27,000 crores corporate loan during this period. This is a classic example how the merger of banks is against common man and towards corporate people. And the same State Bank of India has become a junior partner of 30% shareholder in Reliance Payment Bank, which is now just a startup bank. A state bank, we, you know, it is a, one of the uh, having the biggest network in the whole world and one of the, big, uh, the biggest bank in terms of business as well as volume in India and such a bank is uh, now uh, becoming a, a junior partner of 30% for this Reliance Bank. So, all these things uh, very clearly depict that uh, the bank merger is towards class banking. Now, another three banks, Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank merged uh, with Bank of Baroda and these bank which is the second largest public sector bank and third largest bank is again going to towards uh, pro corporatization uh, now itself even before merger from february onwards the bank of baroda has increased its uh, uh, minimum balance from 1000 to 2000 and 10000 rupees has been fixed for the current account balance so this is a very clear indication that this bank is also going more towards the in favor of the uh, class banking uh, leaving the mass banking aside